At an earlier time, I sat down with the one, the only Jules Weinstein. And today I share this never before aired chat with the one and only Jules Weinstein. We talk about Roni past, talk about Roni future. My, my, how things have changed. But stay tuned, sit back. Today we are joined from a never before from the vault, never before heard chat with the one and only Miss Jules Weinstein. I mean, my lawyer would never use that as evidence because it's, but when somebody doesn't want to pay child support, it was, it, it's good, <laughs> you know? Did, well, yes. Did you feel, cause there was, you didn't speak like you were off social. Did you feel, look, there was so much put out there about you pictures mm-hmm. and claims and, you know, mug shots mm-hmm. and things. Was that right. hard, like not to be able to say I got something to say? Because there was a lot out there, but it wasn't from your voice. Yes, yeah. right. It was. It you know, listen. It's difficult when somebody is putting stuff out there, but I believe that the truth always prevails. You don't need a high school diploma to understand what's going on in my divorce. If somebody really, really, really wants to know, it's public. It's public. You know, like the transcripts. You could. If somebody really wants to know what's happening, all of that stuff is public. You can go on, you know, florida.gov and read, you know, what happened. I have full custody and final, 100% final decision-making. My kids are with me 100%. So, you know, you can read between the lines of what really happened. Um, But, you know, if somebody wants to write that, you know, I'm a crackhead then they can just say it, but they're, they're, that doesn't make sense, right? But I don't want to say anything, but I, you know. Do you I feel think. then in a sense, like it's over? Like you must feel like when I mean, you're back on stone, you feel like this is it, like yeah. you're living now. Like that's a, well, such a weight, right? Taken off it of is. you. It, it's never really over. I mean, he, it is over, but then there's the aftermath, like, which I, I, I don't, I don't care anymore, but he, you know, he doesn't pay child support or alimony or anything. It doesn't see the kids. And, uh, there's always that stuff, but, but it is over and I'm so happy. I just, you know, I want the best for my kids. I call him the bio, <laughs> the bio, you know, I want him to be happy. Um, I want my kids to have a good relationship with their dad and, uh, you know, so I can be happy too. You know, I have, listen, I have so much divorce in my family. Like you're preaching to the choir. Like it's always, it's yeah. never really over. You know, money is just, money doesn't mean anything. You know, it's, 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 everything always works out. I just, I feel like money creates nasty evilness. Right. So I just wish that um he would just be happy, you know, and just leave you alone. Yes, please. But whatever. Anyway. Did you ever think, because I mean, same lawyer and you took your break. Did you ever think of reaching out to Bethany through it? I mean, she had a very public divorce. She was always like, another post is being used against me. Did you ever think of saying, hey girl, listen, it's Jules, your old friend. Stay off mm-hmm. social. Stay off. Um, no. <laughs> um, I don't think she, she would take my advice, you know, because uh, she knows it all, right? I think that her social media for her works for her because that's her business, right? If she got off of social media and television and all that stuff, I think that her career would be over, right? I think so. I would. Yeah, I think her life is like the Truman Show, right? She likes it, you know. Yeah, that's how she makes money. For me, that's not how I make money, but... What about, you know, Miami's down the street. So is New Jersey, New York, New Jersey. We have both housewives. What about a real housewives of Boca? I know there should be, but um, I don't know. Maybe we should, maybe we should pitch it. Let's pitch that together. Yes. And you should be on it too. I was just going to say, I could be like your gay BFF. I mean, everyone needs that. It, since Bravo is so diverse, there has never been a gay guy as a housewife. I think that's the next step. There's been talk. There's been a lot of talk. I'm not sure where we are with all that or how serious, but you know. <laughs> what about, you know, I don't know if you watch girl, do you know what 
alternate girls trip is. Dorinda was involved in the second one. Do you know about this? Do you know what this is? No, no well, idea. Now what we've done on Peacock, we have a first one and a second one. The second one's ex-housewives. They take every city, two, two, and two of ex-housewives. Like Dorinda was on it with Jill Zarin. And like, literally it's like seven girls on a vacation. It's people right. that are not necessarily on the show anymore. Like Dorinda, Jill Zarin, like Vicky and Tamara. Anyone that's been a housewife is eligible. So you know what, Jules? That means you too. One season counts. <laughs> So <laughs> if, you, if you were, and literally the first one, you they went to Turks and Caicos. The second one, they're at Bluestone Manor. There's probably going to be a really? third one. Really? Yes. They went to Dorinda's? The second one, they went to Dorinda's. It was Vicky and Tamara from the OC, Taylor Armstrong uh-huh. from Beverly Hills. I don't know if you know her, like Phaedra. Pro- so yes. they were at Dorinda's. It's not aired yet, but it's coming up. It's all ex-housewives, like eight of them. So, you know, eventually they're going to run out of ex-housewives. They go down the list, I'm sure. That means you might be getting a call. They might even do an ex-girls trip one season wonders, Jules. This is possible. This isn't like in my head. This is really likely possible at some point to happen. So are you excited if you get a call to go on Ultimate Girls Trip? Well, who picks them? I believe they make a call and they see who's interested and they come with a cast from there. But I, the producers, Andy is involved. I will have to think about it. And if I get called, I'll have to run it by you first. You're my manager. I just want, listen, I don't even, most people want 20%. I will be happy with like 10%. How's that? Don't I'm negotiate. Not do not negotiate directly. Send them to me. I will get you a little more money. Okay. I won't, I won't call Paul. I'll call you. Call me. Is there anyone, <laughs> if you had to go on it with one New York housewife, like past or present, is there anyone you really, who would you like to not go on it with the most? Because they pick, they're going to pick someone else from oh, New York. Oh, I love Kelly. I call her Kelly Korean Ben Simone. Kelly Korean. I love, I know her in person. She is not like what you think she is. She is amazing. She's so cool. I would love to go with her. I mean, I would love to go with Dorinda, but she already was on, right? She was already on Kelly. I I have had Kelly on this show. I fucking love Kelly. I don't understand. She, I, I don't get why she gets it, all the hate. I, I don't get it. Because of Bethany, hello. Um, that is know, why. She's awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. She's so cool. I love her. I've hung out with her many, many times. Many nights. Ago. Here's my thing about Kelly. She is authentically herself. That's all I care about. So like... Mm-hmm. she's there's no angle when you ask her like she's very authentic but yes I do think it's because of Bethany and Bethany enthusiasts are not over this whole thing between Kelly and Bethany mm-hmm. I mean Bethany's over it let's move on yeah and she's chic and she can dress and she has great taste she's fun drop dead her. gorgeous drop dead gorgeous yes do you yeah. run into like you never run it because all oh, they're all down there. I mean, mostly in West Palm, but you never run into like Ramona, Luann. Ramona's like living in Florida these days, basically, until it gets warm. You never see her. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen Ramona. Jill Zarin, I, uh sorry. Uh Jill Zarin, I've seen. Uh Kelly comes to the Boca Beach Club. Um uh what's her called? Um is, what's her name from Tinsley? New Jersey? Siggy. Siggy, Siggy. Siggy's down there, 